How do you marry the two emotions today? I imagine there's a great deal of pride in the performance, but obviously the defeat as well. It's yeah. a difficult thing for you. Yeah, I'm not, look, I'm not going to go away disappointed tonight, even though I've lost the game, because I think that what you need is good performances to try and get good results, and I thought we had a good performance today. Maybe we weren't quite good enough to beat Man City, but I'm hoping that the performance we put in today might be good enough to, to beat some of the teams who we're going to play in the up and coming weeks and months. When you saw the big chance for Issa Diop in the last moments, does yeah. it, is, there, is there a part of you that feels like a slight missed opportunity today? Ah, massive opportunity to score. I think, uh, you know, MD who who's a header of the ball and gets that chance, you're saying the worst I've got to do is hit the target. You know, and if the keeper saves it or that, then fine. But So I think for him to miss the target was, the, was the, the most disappointing thing for me. But look, not disappointed by any of the players and how they performed today. They've done a great job. And, uh, you know, we roll on and see what else we can do going forward. Was the key thing for you to stay in the game, and you were in the game throughout the whole 90 yeah. minutes? No, we were. I think when you play the teams like, like you know, Manchester City or Liverpool, I think you have to stay in the game. And it was really important that after we, we went 1-0 down, we did. And we certainly done that. We got ourselves back in the game, and rightly so, because we had done an awful lot of good things. But if you're going to play Man City, you're going to have to be able to change your system, you know, at times defend deep, at times try to press them. Because of their ability, they're so good that you, know, you just never know where their goals are going to come from. And as we saw today, you know, they get two goals from centre-halves, you know, which uh, you wouldn't normally expect from Manchester City. Can you, the team, the club, even take extra belief today, despite defeat, that there's mm. things that can be achieved, things yeah. are possible this season? Yeah, I do. I take, I take, I've taken a lot from the game today because, look, I don't generally see that we are a, a top-four team, but we've just come and competed with the best team in the Premier League and probably the best team in Europe. So what that gives me hope is when I have to play all those other teams that are in that position around it, that I'm going to be competitive and it's going to give me a chance. So does that get me there? I don't know, but I'm going to try and go for it. I'm going to try and push, but ultimately, you know, it wasn't where we thought our targets were at the start of the season. But uh, it's great that we're mentioning that word Champions League or Europe, because it would be an incredible achievement for us to come from fourth bottom of the league, fifth bottom of the league to the position we're in. Thank you, David.